Hey guys, in this video we're going to be going over Aerodrome Finance, Maple Finance, and Propy. All of tokens which I've talked about before when they were much lower than they are now in price. We're going to see how have they done since I originally talked about them, what are their use cases, and if there is still room to grow for these tokens and what their foundation are. But first, I want to welcome you all back to Freeman Finance and Crypto, where if it makes money, it makes sense. I'm grateful for every single one of the 1,000 plus subscribers I have subscribed within the last 28 days. And I do want to say that these videos do not do as well as some of the big mainstream token reviews do. But I don't care. I want to give the Freeman and Finance community the best data on low cap gems that I can do out off of the hours of research that I do and because of that I don't care and I want to give you all the best data that is possible but please subscribe to the channel hit the bell notification and comment down below what else you would like me to see but without further ado let's get into Aerodrome Finance so Aerodrome Finance is the leading decentralized exchange on base if you've heard of a drone before that's because you maybe heard of Velodrome Finance Velodrome is the leading decentralized exchange on Optimism which is also a layer 2 built on Ethereum such as base so um, Aerodrome Finance launched on Coinbase a little over a month ago, a couple months ago, and it has been doing very, very well. Base will do very, very well as they are backed by Coinbase Ventures, which is a tier one exchange, arguably the biggest exchange in America, the United States, and I'm sure it also has its presence other places around the world. But the whole point of this is to lower fees when it comes to people making exchanges. Uh, centralized exchanges can be more expensive. Decentralized exchanges tend to be a little better with the fees. And we've seen decentralized exchanges like Uniswap do very, very well. The total value lock, the TVL for this is almost 400 million. Annualized trading is 1.25 billion. Annualized fees is 16 million, which I think are not updated correctly because base has seen an extremely amount of usage over the last couple months. But let's get into the price. So when I originally bought into it and talked about it, it was around this nine cent mark. And it's done over a 10X from there. It's almost a dollar right now. And it's had its up and downs throughout the ways, but that's expected with people taking profits and stuff like that. But with the market cap being so low, still in the hundreds of millions of dollars, I expect Aerodrome Finance to still have a long ways to go. And it is not something that has just been hyped recently. This is backed by Coinbase Ventures. I believe this will do extremely, extremely well. I have other videos that do a deep dive into what exactly it is. And I recommend everyone to go watch those videos. But the next token we're going to get into is Maple. But before that, I want to go over the activity because one important important thing with projects is how much activity do they have are they dead on social media or are they actually making you know improvements to get their name out there and as you can see right here the base ecosystem led by coinbase adventures which is one of the largest tier one exchanges they posted but they're posting almost daily the rewards fees and incentives are com continuing continuing to go up they're listed on new exchanges and so they're just doing great they're really doing really good the total volume locked went to 355 million let's see where that was okay so yeah th that is updated but so they went to 355 million which delivered 194 million in volume so aerodrome finance is doing very healthy base is doing very healthy and those are all things i talked about around the nine to ten cent mark and it is currently almost a dollar well now let's get into maple finance maple finance is currently on ethereum they're working on getting it onto solana as you can see right here and also base that i did not know about but they've got over three trillion dollars in loans issued with uh, over a hundred million of total deposits so this is a lending platform maple doesn't actually lend the money themselves they are an interface for it 
And so basically what that means, if you were somebody with liquidity that wanted to lend your money and get an APY on it or get interest off of it, you could do that through Maple. Well, where's the price at now? The price is currently over $20. It hit a high today of what, 22 almost, and back here it hit a high of about 20 if we were to say I originally in my purchase price is a little over $12 20 12 20 12 40 something like that so I've, I'm very close to a 2x on this but I think it has a long ways to go this token is currently 500 in market cap and I do think it'll get into the top 100 I think that real world assets in DeFi are going to be huge going forward in the world y'all know I don't just look at meme tokens or short-term investments. I invest in tokens and assets that have a long-term projection. Even if we were to have a downturn, what would need utilization later on in life? Five years down the road, ten years down the road. And Maple is one of those, and DeFi and real-world assets is one of those sectors that will definitely need that. And so this has done almost a 2x. I'm still fully holding. I haven't sold absolutely anything. But I want to do these kind of updates so people see that this kind of low-cap gems have promise. Because when I make a video, and I have one, and I'll have it at the end of the video, so you all can go watch when I do a video about maple it doesn't get a lot of views because not a lot of people know about it right so they're not searching it but I don't care I'm here to give the Freeman and Finance community the updates on what is going on and what I truly believe in of course none of this financial advice is my personal opinion but I do want to let the Freeman and Finance family know what I am thinking about so again, how is their involvement on social media? So you see they're posting almost daily. They have a roadmap update on March 27th here in just a few days. But here they have Maple Direct just launched the new high yield secured lending pool targeting 15% APY in USDC. So like I said, this is a lending platform that someone could put their capital in and allow it to be lent out for an for interest essentially but they are very very active on X and that is always good to see whenever you see a project and like I said they were originally founded on the ethereum network but here they've got Sol Sol lending solutions so they're branching out to the Solana blockchain and so I think that is very very bullish but the third token we're going to go over today is actually the one I've got the least returns on but I'm the most bullish on it because of BlackRock and Kathy Woods being involved with it and that is Proppy. Proppy is a real world asset um, interface and what they basically do is get a commission off of any real world asset that is sold or um, or listed within their platform. It is completely on chain. This is putting on chain deeds and titles for mortgages and any type of real estate. I have a video that I'll have linked at the end of the description talking about what exactly is this and going in depth on it. But a little spoiler alert Rock, um, BlackRock actually has their headquarters tokenized via nft by proppy if that's not bullish i don't know what is but this is the one that i'm latest to invest to and i currently invested last night this is a one day chart around one dollar and eight cents and it is currently a dollar and 13 cents and it hit a high today of a dollar and 20 cents People taking uh, profits on low cap gems like this is expected, but the total circulating supply and total supply is all out. So there's zero more inflation happening with this token, and I think that is extremely bullish. I would really recommend everyone to watch the video that I have at the end of this. I'll have it pinned up top. All you have to do is click on it. But if we go to their X, you can see a few days ago they had a... Uh, video online with Kathy Woods talking for over two hours. Kathy Woods is the founder of ARK Invest, one of the leading ETFs in the world, and also a very, very highly invested person in Bitcoin. 
And also, they have, this is what I'm talking about right here, tokenized real world assets of BlackRock headquarters. So they tokenized by Propy Keys the BlackRock, which is the number one asset under management foundation in the world. In the world, they led the Bitcoin ETFs, and Propy Keys did their turn their headquarters into an ETF and put their real estate on chain. That is completely bullish to me. And with this being 439th in total market cap, I do have my price prediction in the other video, but I think this will do amazing. And I still think we are very, very, very early to this. But as always, I welcome all of you for joining Freeman Finance and Crypto, where if it makes money, it makes sense. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Check this video, these two videos out right above. Hit subscribe and let me know down in the comments. What else would you like to see? Are you invest in any of these three what point did you get in and let me know anything else you would like to see thank you